we are going to be taking a look at... We've got Deep Space Directive up right now. First time setup. That sounds okay. It's about time you get to work. Really? How did they get express consent from voice actors? It's about time you get to work. I thought there was like a strike going on right now with that very exact uh, topic in mind. Use edge scrolling. Does this mean it's on? Oh, this isn't this isn't capturing my mouse. Hmm. Okay. Play or new game? Play or new game? New game? Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, it does. Okay. We have a new incoming message from the executive director of strategic operations at corporate headquarters. In light of the commencement of hostilities and the current scarcity of resources, the corporation perceives this situation as a strategic opportunity for enhanced profitability and market expansion. You have been tasked with the allocation of a limited workforce and resources to initiate construction efforts. The corporation anticipates the commencement of off-world shipments at the earliest possible juncture. Tininess is imperative as profits are a non-negotiable priority. What all that corporate jargon really means is, we're supposed to take advantage of this war and squeeze every bit of profit out of it. And we're supposed to magically conjure up an industrial colony with a handful of workers and barely enough resources to get started. It's a job, and we get to do it. Is that what I sound like when I'm reading the t dialogue text? Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, that's that's almost passable. Why does it look like my camera's ultra slow? Hold on, wait a second. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, back to the game. Demo has the first two tiers of the tech tree and should provide. Oh, should I not be reading? I just said that to myself. <laughs> to choose a location for our headquarters. Once we do that, we can start to generate energy, pump water, grow food, and build mines. As you wish, I will put the headquarters here. For security, we have been given two mobile infantry units. To move a unit, select it, and then click where you want it to move. I suggest we use our infantry units to explore the boundaries of our colony. Uh, what is this? Is this just void? Is <laughs> it void? Now that we can see what we're working with, we should build a source of fuel cells. Many buildings will need fuel cells as a source of energy to operate. May I suggest that we build two solar panels? Very well. I will build two solar panels. Oh, we can build them here. Or can we? No, okay. Tastes like civilization. Next, we need a source of methyl wool. This will allow us to expand our base and be more productive. There's no deposit cool. Nearby. Gotta put it. I suggest we build a mine there. Gotta put it here, here, and here. And then, what if I delete this? Move this here. Right there. Mine. With industrial resource production in place, I suggest we turn our attention to the workforce. Workers will need both food and water. We should build a water pump near a source of water and two farms in the nearby grass sand. One pump, two farms.
Okay. What am I doing now? Waiting. That's what I'm doing. Oh, because I built like six buildings. <laughs> I can only build one at a time. Ah. Uh. I mean, when it comes to these kind of games, like if, if it lets you build 10 mines, why not build 10 mines, even though the game said only build one? I mean, this is why. This is exactly why, because it used up all your power. But it's like, that's how economic engine games work. You build things to improve your ability to build things so that you can build things to improve your ability to build things so that you're building things faster than you could ever build things. Build things. Yep. I see I need people and I, there we go, cool. I guess people is just like a static resource. I regret, at least we have plenty of power now. Probably build that other mine. taking this so long. It's like I've definitely done something wrong, but I don't know what. making a farm, we're making food, we're making water. Looks like all of our resources are balanced, which means we're winning the game. That's the objective of the game. Oh, cool, I can have it. Okay, I thought it would replay if I clicked on it, but no, that's not what happens. Could this be taking so long because it's not it doesn't have a connected path to my base. Director, I'm picking up a strange energy signature from beyond the edges of our colony. This wasn't supposed to happen. The corporation and their promises. Oh no, that sounds like a problem. The energy signature. It appears to be incoming enemy units. I've marked where they're likely to attack our colony. I suggest we move our infantry units to defend ourselves. I will move the infantry units to defend ourselves. What are these orange circles? Ugh. This game got intense. Communications paused due to nearby enemy units. Director, it looks like the enemy may have dropped some kind of resource. Cool. Unfortunately, we can't collect it with the <laughs> cargo shuffles, but the corporation has a new collection tower that might be useful. We should build one near where the enemy attacked our colony. Great. I'll just go ahead and balanced, do that. We will need to hire more workers. This can be done from the hiring menu. Each new worker. Where, where did this menu come from? Cost, it just happened. Also, our productivity. We can also recruit additional security units. While not cheap, they can be very useful. Okay. How do I get that menu back? I want to hi- oh. Uh, okay. How do I get money? Where does I get money from? Not the mines. Solar panels? Probably not. Now that the collection tower is built, we'll be able to collect and test this new resource. Director, 
while we wait for this new resource to be collected, I thought I to wait. that in response to last night's events, the corporation has kindly given us access to their satellite orbital bombardment system. With this system, you'll be able to target incoming enemy units and assist our ground units. The system has limited capacity and will need to recharge. Use the toggle switch in the menu or the hotkey to toggle the targeting system. I recommend that you fire a few test shots. Am I winning? It's like I have a thing. I have a thing. What does it do? It makes damage happen, but this thing doesn't take damage, so. Director, this new resource appears to be how the enemy created that new landmass. Now that we have collected enough, we should be able to create land on our own. This should allow us to expand our operations and be more productive. Director, we're reading a strange energy source at that location. I wouldn't recommend we move our unit there. Okay. I will not recommend, or I will not move the unit there then according to your recommendation. I talk good. Oh, I have to build terrain, okay. Put one there. Oh, I, I should be building here. Build next to my base, just in case that matters. Get you back home. Us to send supply ships out of the system to support the corporation's larger goals. To accomplish this, we should build a supply ship landing pad near our headquarters. Great. Supply ship. And I need to hire more dudemen. But I'm not cool enough to do that. Uh, completely maxed out on our resources and we can't we need to buy more more workers and how do we do that Can't speed up the game. Okay. This is not nearly as cool as I was hoping. Now that the ship has a landing site, doesn't have the quite. It doesn't have quite the punch. Transport 50 food and 50 water off world. In return, the corporation will send us an additional five workers to help expand our production capabilities. Damn. Yeah, I need that. Uh, how do I do that? How do I export? Director, the supply ship will transport the first load of cargo. The ship has limited capacity, so it will take multiple loads to complete our directive. Uh, well, I immediately want to build more. Only one supply ship can be placed. Great. vibing with this aesthetic and I like engine building games so like even though this tastes like a really cheap version of civilization like I'm, I'm, I'm down I know it's just it's just a hex map excellent our first directive is complete in return the company has sent us five workers good thing we built extra housing these extra workers ah, ha, ha. mean we can start more buildings and be more productive. Let's be more productive. Now that we've proven ourselves, 
We've been given access to the intercorporate commodity market. From the market, we'll be able to schedule shipments of our extra resources. In return, we'll earn tech credits, which can be used to purchase new technologies. Okay, great. Let me just make more solar power. I don't, it doesn't seem like I have to do anything to make the sales happen. They just happen, which is fine. Because I have maxed out all my resources, but maybe that's not that interesting. Cool. Build a farm. Hey, wait a minute, where's my collection tower? I really need to build more of these. Gotta ship more. I can't even staff this farm. What does this mean? Compliance is negative 27. How do I... Okay, I click this. Oh, do I have to actually click this button? Okay, that makes the shuttle happen. Okay, so it's not automatic. It looked like it was. I mean, it didn't really. I'm just an idiot. Fantastic. We just received our first tech credit. It can be used to purchase new technology to improve our quality. Cool. Our standing in the company has oh. also increased. This will help open doors for us in the future, eventually including access to even higher tiers of technology. Okay. I like that. Uh, mine production time decreased by one second. Now I need to build some storage. I also need to hire some dude man. Resources. This makes them useful to expand our colony and reach new sources of resources. I suggest we use this new building to increase our reach. Can I do this? Sell everything. More workers needed. Shuttle range. Director, you may have noticed that our shuttles have a maximum range. No. This range can be seen when adding cargo routes. If we try to build out of range, resources will not get delivered. I don't see that. What are you talking about? What? Director, some of our buildings don't have enough workers to be maximally efficient. As a reminder, you can hire more workers in the hiring menu. Yeah, I, I did that. As you are now fully established, the corporation has assigned a new daily directive. It is imperative that all daily directives be executed with utmost expediency. Subsequent directives will be assigned upon the successful completion of the preceding directive. Okay. I'm guessing my directive is export ore, but I just did that. Director, you may have noticed that most of our buildings have a shuttle utilization value shown in the unit window. 
If you select our headquarters, you can see that our shuttle utilization may be very high. This can slow down the construction of new buildings or the loading of our supply ships, which uh -uh. generally the efficiency of our colony. One cause of a high shuttle utilization is having too many outgoing cargo routes. Instead okay. of sending all of our resources through our headquarters, we connect cargo routes directly from buildings that produce a resource to the buildings that require a resource. To get started, we should create a cargo route directly from our solar panels to our mine. The mine requires fuel cells and the new cargo routes will supply the mine more efficiently. To add this cargo route, select a... This feels very tedious. We no longer need the cargo route from our headquarters to our mine, so we can remove the unneeded cargo route. To remove this cargo route, select the headquarters, hold shift, and then right click on the mine. Select the cat orders, hold shift, and then right click on the mine. I see. Okay, I got it backwards. This is not, I, I do not like managing that at all. Does nothing else in my, in this, Need electrics. The farm does, doesn't it? The farm takes water, electric, and pa and food. Hmm. Okay. So we're mining at a rate that is perhaps not that impressive. How do I ship more, more iron? Should, I should be shipping just this. Maximum number of transactions is two. Well, how do I, what, what transactions do I have? Are these transactions that I'm actually setting? Quest failed, reputation lost. Hmm. Oh, that's what happens when you cancel. Oh, I see. I need to build a mine and some solar panels. Well, building solar panels is easy. Building a mine is not easy. on account of, I have nowhere to put it. Yeah, like what, what's the idea? Where do I put this? I know what I can do. These changes should already help improve our efficiency. Oh no, it has to, I have to build a new mine. And optimize the cargo routes. Oh, the game designers are too smart. Directly from our solar panels to our farms, as well as cargo routes from our water pump to our farms. I don't want to do that. That's so tedious. What? Am... Okay, and I have to add water pumps to farms. Okay. At this point, the shuttle utilization at our headquarters should be significantly improved, but we can still do more to improve productivity. We can now remove the cargo routes from our headquarters to our farms. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem right. We don't always need to optimize cargo routes, but if construction is taking too long, or buildings are running out of resources, optimizing cargo routes can often be helpful. Okay. It is your job to ensure high profitability and maintain efficient productivity. Well, I have a lot of money now. 
There's gotta be a tech that, that gets, lets me build more mines. Entry tower. Well, allows an additional supply ship to be built. Melter. Okay. Laser towers provide more defensive capabilities for our colony and will protect our valuable infrastructure. I suggest we build a laser tower near where the enemy has attacked. Good idea. Smelters will allow us to refine or into more useful and more profitable metal. They will need to be supplied with large amounts of ore and fuel cells. To boost our profits, I suggest we build a smelter. Yeah. <laughs> Can I replace this with... I would very much like to destroy a... So this thing has shields. Oh, and they're full. Okay, great. So it seems like everything is going peachy and I have all the resources that I need. I gotta build a house. Oh, housing, there we go. Because the engine must grow. Auto trader. I like the sound of that. See, I have too much water. And then I have too much power. Could this be an inefficient use of my Thing? Yes. The answer is yes, it is. It's very inefficient. But I'm at 100% compliance. Can you hire some workers? see so we're taking materials from storage turning those into iron bars what's the point of all this map that I can't build on surely there's a way to upgrade right special building can't build that can't build that Oh, wait a minute. Does building more buildings... Do buildings expand my building radius? So if I build that there and that there... That there. Oh, I can build outside of range. I see. Build a mine. Just 
just gotta find some ore. I think there's some ore over here. There's gas. Aluminium. Alum aluminum. Hmm. It's unlimited water. But there's not unlimited mine? So what happens if I do that? I mean, it looks like this is just isn't getting built. So maybe that doesn't work. For you. Why can't I speed it up? Cool. <laughs> Destroyed all of my laser towers. And and now my compliance is at negative fifty-nine. I, I still don't know what that means. Team hasn't taught me yet. Some of our buildings don't have enough workers to be maximally efficient. As a reminder, you can hire more workers in the hiring menu. As another reminder, I would like to build this mine, please. build a solar panel like right here I get, the, I get the gist of what's happening in this game. I get the gist, but... I'm not quite there yet. I haven't quite figured out. Should be able to sell some bars soon. That's good, I think. That does not extend my range at all. Great. Not enough credits to pay for workers. Buildings expand my building range. Collection tower? Space laser? Sentry tower? Director, if we build sentry towers on the 
edge of our colony, we'll be able to see further and possibly discover new resources. I suggest we build two sentry towers. Okay. They take people. I have to staff them. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That does help. Damn. I don't need this. Delete that. Build a mine. Let's get this objective out of the way. And then let's see what our next objective is. That's it? I want more. No. Worthless. Useless. At some point, I gotta actually take care of these these fights, right? I gotta destroy this. No. Am I hitting them? I don't even know. No. do about that game what am I supposed to do about that ship would be nice gas collector not available in the demo copper mine water pump bigger houses where's the tech that lets you expand your base Build another one of these. Got a lot of water to ship. At what point do I say that I've beaten the demo? What is my objective? I'm very... I'm feeling very... lost. And I, I clearly need more mines. Oh, these, 
I'm getting built, but they're useless. Their purpose is to die. Hmm. Credits to pay workers. Damn. Director, some of our buildings don't have enough workers to be maximally efficient. As a reminder, you can hire more workers in the hiring menu. But I need money. Oh, now I need power too. But you know what I can do is I can sell off some iron actually worth worth something uh. I assume what I'm working towards is the destruction of these crystals that's my guess but I there's no I click on it nothing happens I Look over here. Nothing. I'm just collecting resources and shipping them for money, and then... That's all I got. Dying too fast. Go faster, please. There's a whole lot of things over here. I'm gonna need to hire a lot more people to staff all that that nonsense that I just built and doing that requires credits ah we have crowded housing That is negatively affecting our compliance. I see. That's what's making everything suck.
I really want to speed this up. Not my farm. Does this heal? There's that permanent damage. Maybe it's permanent. Come on now. Minus 60 because of the population, minus 12 because of crowded housing. Price of this stuff just come keeps going down. Every, the price of everything keeps going down. All right, well now we have spacious housing. And a lot of money. is this Ooh, okay Works in progress. More power. Uh, I guess we'll build the factory when we can. What am I working towards? All right. I feel like I've gotten a feel for this demo, but I have not gotten a feel for what this game is building towards. At what point? At what point do I do I say I did it? I have money. I'm unlocking text, but I don't know what I'm do like I don't know why I should get excited that I'm unlocking text. Aluminum ore production. More storage, factory, more farm, more food. Like, is this just a game played until like you get bored of it? Because I, I passed that like 20 minutes ago. I will stop here. Cool, that's, that's not stopping. So I don't know where that is going. I'm not I'm not turned off by that, but I want to I want to see more of where the game is going before I say if I'm interested in this or not. There's some there's some nice bits though. Not going to not going to throw it in the bin.